Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine, surgery and assisted conception at the Homerton Fertility Centre in London. So I'm, this is a second case of fluid in the cavity where the treatment was slightly different. Now the reason I've, I've I presented a fluid in the cavity a few weeks ago and what was I and then it was using estrogen and using letrozole and trying to give estrogen to a transdermal root and increasing the endometrial thickness. Here it's different and this was a 37 year old lady with a previous myomectomy with multiple small fibroids with fluid in the cavity. It was persistent, she had a hysteroscopy done which was normal, there was no sign of an hydrosalpings, the fluid was drained twice and yet it continued. She had trial of Proganova for three cycles between 8 mg to 16 mg and the fluid was persistent. So when she came to me and I'm a, I'm a great believer that you don't need high doses of estrogen and please move away from giving huge doses of estrogen to women. They're not good drugs and women react quite badly to these drugs sometimes. So we're looking at 4 mg Proganova started. From the first day of the period, scan was done on day 7 and the fluid persisted. So I took an IUI catheter and I drained the fluid at that stage. I then increased the Proganova to 6 mg as scanned on day 12. The fluid was a bit less. And then I decided to put a catheter again and drain the fluid again. Clear fluid. On day 16, another scan was done and there was no fluid in the endometrial cavity and the endometrium was 7.9 millimeter trilamina. Then you'd say this, what, why if you decide to put an IUI catheter, are you not lowering the chances? And I'll ask those who do instill GCSF, which is granulocyte colonizing factor, what happens then? What is the protocol? The protocol is to instill GCSF twice in a cycle for thin endometrium. Now, that's exactly what I did. I didn't instill anything, but I aspirated the contents. So this is again a slightly different way and this is a different way because we have tried multiple ways and I am combining two different you know, uh, evacuations or uh, emptying of the uterine cavity twice in one cycle. And a lot of people may not have tried it, but I'll say, give it a try. Within the same cycle, try and see if you can get the fluid sorted out and then continue the estrogen for another four to five days. If the cavity is good, do the transfer. So that's again a very interesting case. I hope you enjoyed this talk. Please share the page. And we'll hope to see you if you come to Kolhapur in 2020 for the meeting. Thank you.